Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the Overdrive Cube. Many people have asked me to design a gear cube 4x4x4, but I didn't know what it would look like, so this is the best I've come up uh, so far. So what you see is something with four geared uh, layers and it has been cut in eight wedges. So the, at this moment the bottom layer is not engaged, so I can just turn that uh, in any direction that I like. And the top uh, layers, they are connected, so I can turn them like a gear cube and well, let's uh, scramble them a little bit. Okay, so we have scrambled that. And then the next thing that we can do is to do these uh, weird uh, slice turns. The whole thing uh, requires a bit, uh, bit of alignment, so here we go. And then hopefully we can do some more turns. Um, we see here there is one gear that is connecting these two layers. The other two gears are at the bottom layer, so if everything wants to start turning. And I think this uh, prototype qualifies as a failed prototype, it's uh, way too awkward. But let's see whether we can get things started. Somehow the parts uh, get stuck, but uh, well, you, you get the idea that uh, what should happen is that, ah, there we go, all the layers should turn together. So here you see that all the four layers are turning together and here we are at the next stage and we can scramble it uh, even further like uh, this and all the slices. So um, to show you uh, why it's a filled prototype and actually why it's so extremely hard to design this prototype, I'm going to take it apart for you. So let's, it's always hard to find the first screw. But okay, there we are. So, and what you see it in the middle is a quite complicated mechanism. Depending on how you count, there are no less than five shells. We have an inner one by two by two. Then we have a layer with uh, these uh, uh, rotating thingies at 45 degrees. Then we have a layer of this type of uh, part with all the hooks. Next we have a layer where the grooves turn into the part and the outer shell is the shell with the gears. And especially the moves where uh, the parts go into the groove and they go out again, that's uh, what very often gets stuck. But uh, anyway, this uh, gives you an idea, idea of what's inside of the, of the puzzle and I hope that you at least like the mechanism. My question to you is about the 4x4 gear cube. As I said, I don't know what it would look like. So uh, the question is, uh, what would a 4x4 gear cube look like? Where are the gears? What is connected to what? Thank you for watching.